White House has instructed two top investigative bodies, namely the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESEC and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations DCI, to urgently commence investigations into allegations of misuse of up to 2.5 billion shillings by the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority KEMSA. According to the directive issued by Head of Public Service Joseph Kinyua, the two bodies ESEC and DCI I have been asked to take up the matter and give daily progress updates. This is the ODM party issued a statement criticizing the government for instructing the DCI and ESCC to investigate the claims before a proper audit on the funds is carried out. In the statement sent to newsrooms, the ODM party has stated, we gather that the DCI has been called into KEMSA to investigate these matters. We however wonder how how this can be so before a credible audit by the Auditor General is carried out to ascertain the veracity of these claims. The party has further criticized Deputy President William Ruto's remarks on his Twitter handle over the scandal. Ruto on Thursday had taken to his Twitter account to distance himself from the graft claims where he wrote, at least for once it won't be possible to be blamed for what someone said started in Wuhan as a virus landed in Italy as a pandemic and now in Kenya as a multi-billion shilling corruption enterprise. But the ODM party has sharply condemned the remarks stating, at a time when he should help the president crack the whip on corruption cartels within the government, he holds campaigns at his residence while cheering wrongdoing within the government in the mistaken belief that any perceived failures by the president will raise his dwindling profit. It is disheartening to hear, no less than a senior government official, no less a government senior, a senior government official than the deputy president, go public with improper statement that at least now, nobody will blame me for stealing COVID-19 funds. This statement suggests that it is okay for the funds to be stolen for as long as he is not to blame, or even more unsettling, it expresses the jealousy of being left out of the gravy train. This has former Naivasha MP and Nakada boss John Mutudo joined human rights defenders and good governance lobby groups in expressing concerns of a continued lack of transparency and accountability of COVID-19 funds. Mutudo also pleaded with donors not to withdraw funds, saying that will puncture the country's fight against COVID-19. We cannot respond to withdraw of funds of 400 billion by going to the streets. That's not good. We shall get hurt more. The donors should not take that angle. But we as citizens, within the constitution of the provision, will arrest all of them. The head of the public service, Joseph Kimnua, ameandikwa barua jana, akisema kwamba rais amemdirect aambie mkubwa ya upendelesi akikisha kwamba waizi wote ambao wanaiba pesa ya corona washikwe the global fund has since withdrawn its funds earmarked for kenya following the latest covid-19 allegations linked to kemsa david muthoka tv47